Hi everyone. Today we are discussing the topic of Ymax in mobile communication. So in this Ymax, the first introduction part, uh, it is used in the internet. So it is a worldwide publicly accessible series of interconnected computer networks. So it can be mainly used for your uh, transmit the data and communication and web applications. So these are the main uses of your Ymax. So in this Ymax, we are using uh, internet with the three types of access. One is broadband. Uh, so that is a DSL uh, or cable modem. We can implement the Ymax connection and dial-up connection through the modem. And the next one, Wi-Fi, is used for routers and hotspot by using this implementation of your Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi can be utilized the representation of your Ymax. The next one, think about the, the wireless access. So wireless access means accessing the network without any wire. So it is a very convenient and easy to use of your internet. So what is the difference between the Wi-Fi and this WiMAX? So the Wi-Fi is having a low data transfer and less coverage. Compared with this Wi-Fi, the WiMAX having a high speed and broad coverage. So compared with this two representation, the speed also high. The, the or same time, it will be cover the more number of region to connect the networks. So the next one, main of the WiMAX. So what is the abbreviation full form of WiMAX? It is worldwide interoperability for microwave access. So it is a new uh, telecommunication technology that is it is aimed for providing the wireless data over a long distance so because i already told compare with wi-fi ymax cover the large area so it will be cover the large number of distances also so the next one it is designed to provide the last mile of high speed internet access as well as nomadic services so it is a basic IEEE standard format as 802.16. So if you are using WiMAX, that is wireless fidelity, that is 802.11 standard. But in this wireless uh, man, that is WiMAX, we are having a IEEE 802.16. So it is also called as wireless man. So this is a simple WiMAX tower and receiver. So it's having a uh, one small uh, area to transmit the signal that is it will be accurate signal can be transmitted to the uh, receiver the receiver can absorb enormous uh, signal with the help of your this panel so this is a system of your ymax so the next one working of ymax if you are using a home location area network so from this home location area network so we can use a line of sight that is that from home itself, we can identify the nearest tower with the help of your non-line of sight. So from this non-line of sight, we can identify the WiMAX transmitter with the help of line of sight. So from this line of sight WiMAX transmitter, we can transmit the data to the ISP network and then we can take the necessary uh, information from the internet platform. So this is the working principle of WiMAX. So if you are considering one scenario that WiMAX is enabled in 10, 10 miles away from the WiMAX base station. So a special encryption code is given to the computer to access the base station. So the base station would be in data from the internet required for the computer. So in this representation, we can identify the encryption code for the security purpose. If you are sending the data without any encryption, somebody can kick has be your data without receiving your receiver side or it may be a change the data and it will be sending to the receiver side we can't identify the original data for this reason we are using encryption algorithm so in this the provider pay the provider monthly fee for using these services plus low cost with having a high speed so the ymax protocol is designed to accommodate several different methods of data transmission and also one of which is voice over internet protocol that is VOIP protocol at most any one laptop uh, can make the VOIP, I mean VOIP calls. So next one in this representation we can have a data link layer with the 
two methods one is mac layer and another one is logical link layer so mac layer or data link mac layer will be associated with the data link layer it is used for scheduling the algorithm for identifying the subscriber station and also the network for you are sending the data if you are right identifying time slot and it will be allocated to the subscriber by the base station this time slot can be changed but it reminds the assignment to the subscriber station so scalability can also achieved uh, by the allowing the base station to control the qos parameter of balancing the time slot assignments in uh, wrt application needs so the make layer will be used to, to identify in the which type of uh, transmission we can select to transmit the data from one side to next side for example if you are making a time dma or if you are selecting the fdma or you are selecting the sdma or you are selecting the cdma so from this multiple access which domain you are selecting to transmit the data from one side to another side if you are selecting the time slot for the subscriber at the time the particular time slot alone the subscriber can transmit the data from sender to receiver if the time slot is over but the data will not uh, transmit fully to the receiver side at that time the ymax will allocate the additional time to send the data to the base station so this is the performance of make layer will be associated with the ymax representation so the next one the architecture of ymax we are having a two types of architecture one is point to point architecture another one point to multi point architecture so point to point architecture one system can be associated with the another one so each and every y one pay, ymax base station will be associated with one ymax base station and also if you are having a point to point connection but if you are representing the one base station will be associated with n number of mobile or n number of sim card so that is representing a, a point to multi point connection so if you are seeing this diagram you can identify it. so ymax will be as one ymax base station will be associated with another ymax base station from this base station we can have a n number of networks or n number of representation to associate the network so next one in this features what are the features compared with wifi the scalability is high because the, it will be associate the large name number of uh, broadband and quality of service compared with ymax it is a high it will be cover large range and also the coverage area will be high for comparing with ymax and wifi the advantage the first itself the speed is high it is wireless and it will be having a broad coverage so the next one where it is used wifi hotspot can be interconnected with any one wires without any wires so it is associated with the ymax and it will be providing the wireless uh, alternative cable and dsl connection for the lost mile broadband access it can provide high speed data and telecommunication services providing a non matic connectivity for associating your ymax connection so what are the limitations of your ymax it having a error rate it increased when operated over maximum range and capacity of the mobile network at it will be show a shared lower bandwidth because we are using a many number of users in a single network so automatically we can reduce the bandwidth of the data so system upgrade version of the current computer is required to receive the ymax transition because we are having a y5 representation so we have to update our system representation for ymax implementation so these are the limitations of wifi sorry ymax so wifi and what is the uh, coverage uh, area is less the so compare with wifi we can uh, have a more number of coverage with the help of wimax so wireless facility so wireless facility is a uh, more ad, uh, wireless facility compare with wireless facility we are having introducing a new technology that is wimax thank you